Hey, what's going on guys? I got another review for you and this is on a product that I waited a long time to use before I could actually review on it. And this is the Shea Moisture Afri Sorry about that. The Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Raw Shea Butter Soap with frankincense and myrrh extract. And um here's the label if you if you couldn't see. This is the package that it came in. The package has the ingredients on it and everything and I'm not sure if you can see it but that's the packaging and this is what I have left of the soap it was a way bigger bar than this the soap bar is actually eight ounces and you get your money's worth when you purchase these the only place I know where you can find it well actually there are two places I know where you can find this stuff and one of them is at Walgreens I believe it's like $4.99 over there and you can also head over to Ulta Beauty. I don't remember the exact price that they have over at Ulta Beauty, and I do apologize for that. But I know you can find it over there at those two places. Um, Ulta Beauty and Walgreens. At Walgreens is $4.99. I'm pretty sure of that. But this is what I have left of the bar. It was a pretty big bar before, and I wanted to get a couple of uses out of it before I can make an accurate review. So this is what's left of it. And as you can see, it's a pretty orangey brown kind of looking bar here. I have it sitting on a soap tray so it could last a lot longer. But for starters, the soap is actually pretty good. I was actually pretty impressed. I've read other reviews from people who said that the soap was very moisturizing. It, it just made their, their skin feel wonderful and everything. But the thing is, since I live in a dorm, since I live in a dorm and I'm in college, we have to deal with hard water. And you know, soap bars and hard water make a horrible kind of horrible feeling on your skin and can leave a horrible reaction onto them. So when I use this soap here, I decided to use it by bathing in warm water, not hot water, not even icy cold water, because I wanted to see how it worked. And I do have to say, it works very, very well. It lathers up very, very good. It's bubbly and it gets me clean. And on top of that, the fragrance, the fragrance is actually very lovely. It smells almost the exact same way as the Argan Oil and Raw Shade Lotion that I did a review on a long time ago. It, it does really, really well. And the fragrance, you can smell the frankincense and myrrh in it. And it pretty much, the smell is identical to the lotion, to the matching lotion. But other than that, it leaves my skin very clean, very moisturizing, and, and also it's a really good facial soap too. I don't just use this bar soap on my face, I also use it on my body, and it does just as good. Well, actually, I got that wrong. I use it on my body, and, but I also use it for my face, and it controls my oil pretty well. It gets my face nice and clean without a tight feeling. Mm -hmm. However, if you're going to use soap bars like these from Shea Moisture, not only will you get your money's worth, but I would highly recommend that you bathe with warm water, whether it be in a bath or a shower. Because if you don't, the soap bar, this soap bar here might have a different kind of reaction on your skin. And it might be, and on top of that, this soap might be really good for people with sensitive skin. And since it does no, it doesn't have any artificial fragrances or anything in it. Most of the fragrance usually comes from the frankincense and the myrrh and some other essential oils added into it. But this soap is pretty good for people who probably have sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin. But if you're going to bathe with this soap, I highly recommend bathing in warm water. Lukewarm to warm water. Do not bathe in hot water. Because if you try to, it will leave, it will have a different effect and won't leave your skin as moisturized. In fact, it'll leave a film on your skin, especially if you're like me and you're bathing in um, hard water, you know, water that has a lot of minerals. But other than that, this soap is really good as a facial soap and as good as a body soap. Now, because the bar used to be so big, it's not as big now since I had a chance to use it a lot. But because it used to be so big, it would be hard for me to grip since I have very small hands, but, and I end up dropping the soap a few times. But other than that, this is a really good soap, and if it was available again, I'd purchase it. It smells good, it gets the job done, it keeps me clean, and it leaves a nice little 
light fragrance on my body just the way that I like it so I would honestly purchase this soap bar again and like I said you can find this at Walgreens and at Ulta Beauty I don't remember the price over at Ulta Beauty but at Walgreens I'm pretty sure it was $4.99 now if you guys have actually found this in Target or any other place I would love to hear love to hear it just leave it in the comments below but yeah the soap is pretty good I don't have much more to say about it and if you want it to last longer make sure you get a soap tray or a soap dish or something but you get your money's worth with these kinds of bars of soaps and I would actually look forward to trying this soap bar again so that's pretty much my review on it if you've tried the soap bar before uh, leave your leave your opinions or your reviews in the comments below. I'd love to read them and see how well this soap bar worked for you. If you like my review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want more from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. More will be coming from me soon. So that's my review and I will see you soon.